everybody. How are y'all doing out there? I decided to do a stream tonight. I worked out this morning. Mowed the lawn at the trailer, mowed the lawn at the house, moved all kinds of band equipment between the two vehicles because I got to take my Toyota to the shop to get work done. And tomorrow I'm going to play outside at McCann's to the golfers. <laughs> they tip pretty good. Hope it's nice out. Uh, so anyways, this is the first I got my guitar on my hand today. I'm a little worried about Facebook uh, stopping us from doing live streams. I do have all my uh, streams on uh, YouTube. I mean, I got stuff from like the 90s on there. A hundred and something videos. Hi, Bobby. Hey, Bill. Did you work on that playground up there this week? Aren't you going to Massachusetts or something? Uh, yeah, they were, uh, there's talk of Facebook ending live streams. So I'm going to get as many in as I can before they tell me to get lost. Do some original stuff, I guess. I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing. CD called Turn Me Loose. 
This is a song I wrote about my wife, Harine, when I first met her. She was about 30 years old. I was like 40. And uh, she had skinny legs. CD, it's called The Victim of Justice, and you got to hear Frankie Frash play on this one when we play with the band, he's something else, man. And it says, Yeah. 
Christian Lord would take me away. Cause I'm a victim of justice. And I ain't got a price to pay. Facebook is going to prevent you from doing them. I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to do all original music on this stream and I'm going to put it on YouTube because I'm hooked up with YouTube that if they, an ASCAP, that if they, somebody uh, plays my all original YouTube video, I make money. I don't know how much it is, but it goes with this, uh, the copyright and the ASCAP and the CD distribution and whatever. So, but every time I do a cover song and put it on YouTube, it says I can't use it for monetary reasons because it's, I'm using somebody else's music. So I'm just gonna play stuff that I wrote. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. This one's, uh, this one's a girl I used to go out with. She used to like to go to bars, but uh, yeah, she'd get a few drinks in her and a few pharmaceutical products. And I mean, like half the time I went out with her, she would end up getting me in a fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, anyway, this one's called I'll be uh, uh, dead or in prison if I stay with you.
Okay, I'm gonna, this song I wrote about a girl who's actually watching, Debbie, this is after we broke up. Uh, I was crazy, well I still am, but back in the 80s, I was a real nutcase. Uh, you know, anyways, I wrote this song.
Cheating fool. <laughs>
uh, here's another original of my CD that will soon be for sale on Amazon now that they opened the warehouse. I mailed them out last week. So they go to CD Baby, then they go to Amazon and a few other places. They'll actually be for sale in the UK and everything. And uh, blah, blah, blah. The CD's called uh, From the Heart. And I hope people will buy it because it cost me a lot of money to get them done. Right now, you know, cash is, uh, my cash flow is in the toilet. So, uh, Facebook live streams for pretty much it for four months for me. I'm, I'm, a few little gigs are starting to break out. But now Facebook found a new way to screw with people and I think they're going to stop live streams or something. I don't know. But that's going to hurt a lot of musicians who uh, lost gigs like myself. I lost thousands of dollars in these gigs that I lost. And they were really, some of them were really prime, you know. But, uh, so anyways, I'm selling these CDs, playing these live streams for tips, playing solos or whatever place I can get. And sometimes I play with my friend John. It's hard to get the band book right now because of the uh, limited capacity of inside dining and it's getting cold now to play outside. Uh, anyway, here's a song called I'm a Busy Man.
Okay, uh, this song, I guess, was my first serious recording that I did uh, 1989. And my old girlfriend, Debbie Mayerski Kula, helped me get the funds together to get an album press in vinyl. Uh, I don't know, I didn't think anybody would like this song, really. But I keep getting requests from certain people to do it, so I'm going to do it. It's called Ease the Pain. It's about a girl who, I guess, uh, Loser in love, she's out in the clubs or whatever, by herself. I guess she's, I don't know, she's trying to get picked up or meet somebody, whatever, but here goes. <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh, let's see. This song I wrote called Don't Come Crying to Me.
of the slow blues. It's called Playing Games. <laughs> Tell you this weekend went fast, man. <laughs> you know, I get to spend time with the kids and everything on the weekend. Now they, they're so involved with their schoolwork. They got to show up for school a couple of days a week. The rest of the time they're doing their homework on a, on a computer. And the weekends we get a little bit of a break, you know. But uh, my one daughter's working at the shop, right, Beverly. Ellie's home trying to figure out her algebra too. I forgot all that stuff. I used to be pretty good at math, actually. Anyway, this is a song about an old girlfriend of mine. Very nice woman, bless her heart. Very good looking. Dressed to kill. But you take her out, and she gets drunk. She turns into Jekyll and Hyde. I don't mention any names with these girls that I've been with, but I had a crazy life. So anyways, this song is called She's All Liquored Up. 
ago uh, on the news there was this homeless person in New York City it was winter time and I don't know if you ever walk down the streets some of the streets in New York City but uh, some of the buildings have like this grate outside on the ground and they you know steam blows up and you know it's warm so it's like the dead of winter and this homeless guy uh, decides to sit on one of these grates of a hotel and uh, this was the hotel manager this was on the news the hotel manager gets a bucket of cold water dumps it out the third floor window on the guy you know it's pretty shitty but uh, if you know me I always rooted for the underdog uh, almost people are human beings I always help them out when I can, uh, as far as like, you know, if they need some money, I give them some money or whatever. But uh, people should always root for the underdog. Don't feel like you're better than anybody else, okay? I know people like to, you know, like if somebody's rich or somebody's famous or somebody's further along than them in their ventures or whatever, they tend to kiss their ass, okay? But people who are less fortunate really need some positivity in their life. Anyway, so I wrote this song about a homeless guy. You know, applies to homeless pets, anybody.
family. Um, all right, well, I wanted to do this set all original music, so I've eh, pretty much done most of my favorite songs. Um, I'm going to put this on YouTube. I'm hooked up with YouTube that if people play my original music, I get money somehow. So that's why I made the whole set, uh, you know, original. All right, John, take it easy. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, I also always do a little preaching at the end of my sets. Uh, always be kind to every little creature. All animals, all right? Uh, there are plenty of shelters, plenty of animals in these shelters. If you want to get a dog or a cat or an exotic animal, go to the shelter. You'll be saving their life, and uh, they'll love you forever, okay? Uh, most of the dogs and cats put up for adoption have been checked behaviorally or whatever, and uh, it's a lot cheaper to get a pet there than if you go to a puppy mill, you're going to get an overbred, uh, just a poor dog that's, you know, born with all kinds of birth defects, hidden birth defects. The poor mother dog has been overbred, she's worn out. Uh, the conditions are horrible in these puppy mills. So, adopt, all right? Adopt, don't shop. The other thing is, uh, Facebook has become uh, really depressing with people uh, ending friendships over the political situation. Uh, and I... I don't watch the news, I don't have regular TV, but I believe it's the work of the media that's screwing with people. In other words, people who are friends for 50 years suddenly become enemies because they have differing, differing opinions about what side of the political fence they're on or whatever. And uh, I think it's all got to do with what channel news they're watching. One channel is one way, the other one is the other way, and they're both brainwashing everybody. Everybody thinks their opinion is like gospel, all right? Uh, nobody is admitting that they're wrong about anything anymore. Uh, you know, and it's a very bitter situation. So just, you know, just remember that people's just because people have opinions that are different than you with politics, uh, you know, uh, don't hate the people. I mean, shit. You know, that's their opinion. That's what they believe. You know, you can't not hate people for the differing beliefs. All right? Be kind to each other. All right? Uh, you know, uh, and like I said, you know, I always uh, root for the underdog. Uh, I root for all musicians, as long as they're nice people. So as long as they have these, uh, these streams going on, try and watch as many people as you can because we're all starving for performing, all right? I've been playing in front of people uh, getting paid to play in front of people since 1966, all right? So I'm like, this is killing me, all right? And, and there's a lot of other musicians like me who are hurting financially, uh, and they got to play to an audience. So try and stop by everybody's uh, Facebook posts as long as they last until Facebook drops it out or whatever they're going to do, all right? All right, that's all. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Hope you like my music a little bit. I'll see you.